You know, I saw this guy play in the early years of the Washington Capitals, also for the California Golden Seals, and I was very impressed, a very skillful player, and uh, he had, uh, you know, uh, what do you call, decent speed. Could really move the puck, uh, could really pass the puck. It's just that, uh, you know, things didn't work out for him because back in the day in the mid-70s, a lot of players like him either were uh, one step away from true NHL or WHA success, but irregardless, uh, this guy from Ottawa had talent and uh, made two pro leagues and again uh, uh, played some good junior hockey as well. So today we're going to be talking about Pete La Framboise. Now the word Framboise means raspberry in, in English. But uh, that's why he draw, drew a lot of interest because a very uniquely named player. And again, the talent uh, drew a lot of interest, especially for some reason the Quebec media, because some in the Montreal media wanted Montreal to give him a chance after he was sent back down to the minors. We'll get to that in a second. Now, uh, born Peter Alfred Laframboise in Ottawa, uh, played in the NHL for the Seals, the Penguins, and the Capitals. And he also played a number of games with the Oilers in the WHA. Now, he played his junior hockey for the Oshawa Generals in Ottawa 67s. In his second year with the 67s, he put up some really, really strong numbers. Uh, 72 points in 54 games. Uh, California really saw a lot of him, and he eventually was drafted uh, 19th overall by the Seals in 1970. Now, his opening campaign, he was sent down to Providence, uh, Providence Reds for uh, seasoning. 42, uh, 32 points in 64 games, and 72 is split time between the Baltimore Clippers of AHL, where he put up 81 points in a regular season and 13 in the playoffs, but he scored uh, no points in five games for California. Now, where the interest came in, ladies and gentlemen, is here. He played 77 games with California's rookie season, that uh, campaign, 73, 41 points in 77 games, and he played a few games against the Montreal Canadiens, at uh, at the forum and again it drew a lot of interest because his last name alone was kind of saying you know uh, uh, where, where do your last name come from and he was a very genial guy did a quite a number of interviews now 74 was a downturn to his career in california he only had 14 points in 65 games now he joined the capitals for the 74 75 season but it was eventually uh, traded to pittsburgh now in a combination year that year he had 80 games 33 points, including 10 goals, and uh, saw his first playoff action, put up one goal in nine very strong playoff games in the 75 postseason. Now, 76, he found himself with the Hershey Bears of the AHL, put up 65 points in 69 games. Then he uh, played uh, two seasons with Springfield when they were uh, affiliated with Edmonton. And he played 17 games in a 77 campaign with five assists. Now he wrapped up his career in the minor leagues before a final uh, season uh, with the Bingham Dusters in 1979, where he put up 33 points in uh, 30, 33 points in 39 games. Now with uh, uh, with Pete, what I really want to say. And uh, I don't want to be too facetious about this. It's pretty hard to to look at uh, talent of somebody when they're playing for a rotten team. You don't know if their, their plus minus is is off uh, because who they're playing with, or the fact is they've never been really given a chance. Now uh, he also, you know, a good forward. He played majority uh, at, at left wing. Now. He was one of the top scorers in his AHL uh, years. Now, uh, when he returned to his hometown of Ottawa, he went on to uh, enjoy a successful career in the direct mailing business, which was, was picking up in the 70s and 80s throughout Ontario. He eventually founded the very, very uh, respected Rito Mailing Services in uh, 1988. Now, in the early years of his pro career, which uh, we've talked about before, he played uh, fast pitch softball at a high level during his off seasons of his old, uh, early pro career. Now he was selected by the LA Sharks in the '72 NHL draft, in the first uh, NHL uh, WHA draft in 1970, uh, 72, but unfortunately uh, it didn't work out with uh, at that time in the WHA. Now. 
He was an inaugural member of the Capitals, but did not play in the team's first ever game. He made his Capitals debut uh, in the second game of the season at Minnesota. Now, uh, the 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 thing, like I said, the thing about find interesting about Pete, and we're going to go over some of the stats uh, very very quickly here, just to make sure we cover all the bases. Um, the the plus minus with uh, California was consistent with his plus minus in Washington. Like I said, as soon as he hit Pittsburgh, the plus minus went back up. But like I said, he was a decent uh, two way player. Now, never took a bad penalty. Uh, he's three seasons, three full seasons in the NHL. Only took about twenty five to thirty uh, minutes in penalties. But what was interesting about this, ladies and gentlemen, he turned to in a consistent. 20-goal uh, scorer in the AHL. And again, his AHL numbers were pretty impressive. That Clippers, uh, when he had 94 points in 90 regular season and playoff games, really, really uh, stood out. Now, we're doing uh, kind of a, a recap of some of the key Washington Capitals players of that 75 season. But I still believe, ladies and gentlemen, if things were different, I think that LaFamboise should have done better with a Toronto or Montreal team or Vancouver because he would have sent him to the Voyagers or uh, Dallas or whatever. And I think he would have really had a better career if he was in a better system. But you're mired in California, you're mired in Washington. Pittsburgh was starting to improve, but like I said, these are the lower one-third tier of the uh, uh, the league. And anybody with talent is going to be washed away because when you're giving up five, six goals a game like Washington was, whatever talent Pete had there was kind of you know, uh, the story was uh, Capitals lose again, not LaFamboise or Laubre or the other key players, which he was, uh, you know, are increasing in their, in their talent and recognition. So this is the story in the many lives of Pete LaFamboise. If you'd like to uh, give me a like, comment, subscribe, you'd appreciate it. Uh, requests are always welcome. We just passed 206,000 hits on the site with over 400 uh subscribers no monetization no promotion everything's word about so again thank you for your support and please keep those requests coming say like casey Kasem. we'll look to the stars anyway have a good night bye